Hey, so let's take a look at sorting and filtering data in Excel. Now, if this is something that you're not already doing, you're probably going to end up using it all the time because it is so helpful when you're trying to get a quick view of um, or a look at a small subset of data in, in a huge sheet. Um, if you've got a, a list like this here of only 20 rows, it's probably not going to make a huge difference. But once you get into spreadsheets with hundreds or even thousands of rows, the, the filter filtering and sorting is going to be um, unbelievable at creating custom views so that you can look at exactly what you want to see. Uh, we use it all the time in our checklist templates so that you can sort and filter by categories and status. And um, it's, it's really helpful to get quick glimpses of, of just the information you need. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, uh, well, first you're going to need some data. Right here we've got a Dunder Mifflin employee list. It's not complete, but it's got a, a, a few names here for this example. Um, so let's, the first thing we want to do is click anywhere inside the data. Now you can either filter it by going up to the sort and filter menu on the home tab uh, and clicking filter. Some versions of, of Excel might not have this, so if they don't, it's always going to be under the data tab. You're going to see a little filter button there. Just tap that and then you will notice these arrows pop up right under the column headers. If you if for some reason, so Excel automatically guesses where it thinks your your table confines are. So uh, if it for some reason doesn't get those right and misses some, then you can uh, disable the one that it automatically did and then just highlight some rows that you want to include. So say if I just wanted these ones, then I would click it again and now it's only enabled on those ones, which means that if I was to sort by this row, none of these are gonna change. So in this case, the data would be all messed up, but if for some reason you needed to only sort and filter by certain rows, or if it missed a row, you could highlight more and and do it that way. Um, but so for this example, we're just gonna disable that and just do the one that it automatically generates because it, it got it right on. So we just want this table here. Um, so the first thing we're gonna look at is sorting. Uh, so if we pop over here to the last name column and click this arrow, we'll see the little the drop down pop up and it's got a sort and filter section. So now under sort, if we were to just click ascending, and we look at the data, now we have our list organized by um, last name alphabetically. So you can see here it adjusted all of the columns that are included in this sort adjusted with the one that we sorted. So I mean all these, these the first names still all match up with the last name, so there's nothing to worry about that. If for some reason uh, that it didn't get your data right and this drop down was missing from first name, all those first names would have stayed the same and then your data would be completely messed up. So make sure that includes all the, all the columns in your table when you're doing it. Um, so then let's say we wanted to look, we wanted to do a filter of status of people who were fired. We could click the arrow drop down on the status header and then under filter here, we would deselect all and then just pick the fired ones. And now we can look at a list of only the people who were fired from Dunder Mifflin. Um, so now if we want to clear that, we just pop back in the drop down and then just hit clear filter down here. And now you're going to be back at um, the standard or all the data for that column, as long as you don't have any other columns filtered. Um, so let's say we uh, wanted to filter last names for for a certain letter. So one thing we could do is down here, because it, if you wanted to do all the H's, let's say in this case, it would take a long time to, you could, I mean, you could deselect all and then pick uh, all these H's. Um, and then there we go, we've got that. But if you had thousands of rows, that's not going to be very helpful. So um, what you can do is you can type something in here. So let's say we wanted um, all to find uh, all the last names starting with H. If you type H, you're going to get the all the last names starting with H, but then you're also going to get um, other ones with with uh, an H in the in the name somewhere. So um, if you if you did, for instance, just want helper and you knew that that was the only one, and you type H A L, you're going to get that really quickly by just typing H A L. But in this case, say we wanted only the ones with um, last names starting with H, typing H doesn't really help us. What we can do is under this little drop down here, we could we could select begins with and then H. And now we have a list of all the last names that start with H. Um, and you can add a single and or or rule here. So if there was a little more complexity you wanted to add to it. So say I wanted all the, what's something that's unique? Uh, Hudson has a U, none of the other ones do. So let's say we wanted 
all the last names that start with H but do not have a U. So we could choose and um, does not contain U. So there we go, we've just got Halpert and Hannon now. But Or if we wanted to add a second letter, we could do or begins with M. And so now we can see all the names with H and M. Um, so that works like that. It's, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, if you were to uh, sort another column, then obviously you're going to lose that, um, the sort in the first one. But it is going to keep the same order. So if you wanted to sort uh, by one column first and then the second one, you're just going to do that in reverse order and it's going to work, work properly there. But if you have, uh, that, that's basically it for the sort and filter. If you have any other questions about it, please um, let me know. Just drop a comment below. Uh, if you like this Excel update and are looking for more, just hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications on when we put up more tips. And uh, take care.